Morning, a heartbreaking story to share and an important message from a grieving mother. A young man from Frisco facing felony charges this morning after police say he helped his girlfriend commit suicide. Investigators say they found the 17 year old girl's body in a pond back in November. Her mom speaking with WFAA late last night because she says she wanted our viewers to learn about her daughter Elise, a funny 17 year old who always fought for the underdog. She does not have tomorrow with us because she depended on someone that she couldn't count on. Elise's mother didn't want to show her face to protect her family's privacy. It was November 20th when her daughter's body was recovered from a pond at Frisco Commons Park. She tells us she doesn't know what evidence police gathered that led to these charges. Elise had gone to her mother about six weeks before her death, saying she needed help. When she did finally come to me and said, Mom, I need help. I am not okay. These are the thoughts that are going through my head. The, this is what's happening. Then we definitely got her the help that she needed. We got her to counseling. We got her to psychiatry. But Elise told her mom she still wasn't getting the help she needed. She says, Mom, all they're doing is checking boxes. I go to my appointment and all they're doing is how you feel today. Do you think about committing suicide today? You know, checking boxes, just checking boxes. They're not helping me. They're not trying to help me process. They're not trying to help me understand. Elise's mother with some important messages for families watching right now. That sometimes we need to remind our children that um, although your friendships are everything, sometimes keeping everything to yourself is not okay. So I hope and I pray that the justice system does what they need to do to make kids nowadays understand that saying nothing is not okay and doing something to help someone that you know is not okay is not okay. Your words, your actions matter. If you, your child, or anyone you know is struggling, do not hesitate to get help. The number for the suicide hotline is on your screen right now. Take a look. It's just three numbers, 988, easy to call, and they will take your call or text message 24 hours a day. Now, the suspect in this case is 18-year-old Xander Tashman, and police say he faces up to two years in prison.